Hey kids, it's your mom, and this is Your Mom Games. Welcome to this episode of Your Mom Games Walkthrough for The Last of Us Part 1. As we get started, there are three reminders I want to share with you. First, this is a beginner's level walkthrough set on light difficulty. Next, don't forget to click like and subscribe below so you can see more of my content. Finally, and most importantly, there are spoilers ahead. Lots of spoilers. I mean, all the spoilers. So many spoilers. If you don't want to be spoiled, you might want to stop right here. But if there's one part of the walkthrough you want to watch for some hints and tips and you don't want to be spoiled, just use the timestamps below to take you straight to the chapter you need. If you want more information on this walkthrough, you can check out the introduction video for the series. But for now, grab your milk and cookies and let's see what kind of trouble your mom can find in The Last of Us. Hey, look, um... About Tess, I, I don't even know what Here's how this thing's gonna play out. You don't bring up Tess, ever. Matter of fact, we just keep our histories to ourselves. Secondly, don't tell anybody about your condition. They think you're crazy, they'll try to kill you. And lastly, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. What you say goes. Good. Uh, now there's a town a few miles north of here. There's a fella there that owes me some favors. Good chance he could get us a car. Okay. Let's get a move on. Well, there we go. Yeah, it'll be faster to go through here. Man. What? Nothing, it's just... I've never seen anything like this, that's all. You mean the woods? Yeah. Never walked in the woods. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Why don't you just take me back to Marlene? she was up to the task, why'd she drop you off on us? Well, maybe she's better now. My kid, I don't mean to upset you, but your friend's chances of survival weren't too high to begin with. She's a lot tougher than you think. It don't matter. Because I doubt I can get either one of us back into the city in one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some other option. All right, take this little back way, friends, because um, looky here. You get some supplements. And down here on this side by the drain pipe, there is some garbage. <laughs> and do you like garbage in this game? It means important things to you, so you get it. Let's see. Oops. Let me go ahead and craft this shiv so that I can pick up the shiv stuff. Okay. There is nothing by that um, hey pipe up there. Aw, Ellie just saw a bunny. That's sweet. Okay. There is nothing over there, so just keep on going up this path. See the town of Lincoln somewhere in Massachusetts, I guess. Oh, shit. Should we climb it? No. Wire on the top of it. We gotta find a way to go around. <laughs> Whoa, look. 
Fireflies. I mean, real fireflies. Yeah, I see that. Sorry. I... I lost myself for a sec. <clears throat> so you want to get over to the other side of the fence. You come over here. What about No this? dice. So Ellie points out this board because she's super helpful. And we can use planks to cross over gaps, such as the gap between the shed and that building. We're going to prop it up. And then we're going to go back around. And there's a little way, a little um, box you can climb up on, and that'll let you get to the top of the building. Now, over here to the right is something beautiful. Here you go. It's an upgraded melee weapon, as you can see. Somebody has attached some blades to the end of that pipe, making it all the more delicious and more durable. There is now a melee upgrade recipe in your crafting kit. So if you look, you see there, but it's already upgraded. So you don't have to upgrade it. You can see what you need there to upgrade it. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up the plank. <laughs> And we'll place it right here. There we go. Hey, you, Bill. Where do you usually meet him? Huh? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. All right, come on. There are a few items you might find useful back here. Down here. Let's watch your step. It's a good drop. <clears throat> so when you come into this zone, you're going to see a clicker here. And there's actually another clicker over there who you can't yeah there you can see them now when you use your listen and um you can take each one out individually and use a shiv for each one but then you may not have shivs for a couple of supply rooms you're going to come across in this zone so what i usually do is go ahead and attract them to one area with a break and then when they're both together i incinerate them Not too shabby. Now in here we have some other supplies. Uh, we're going to go ahead and craft that extra Molotov cocktail. So that I have room for the rag. There we go. And over here are some more blades. So that's good. Are you all right? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. Well, does it sound like I know how to whistle? Oh, 
Oh, look, a note. It says, reminder, collect more pills. See if I can scrounge up some extra ammo. I only have three weeks until the next drop off with Tess. All right, so I guess that must be a note from the smuggler they're trying to meet, Bill. So that makes sense. I don't think there's anything at the bottom of the stairs, but I just want to make sure. Nope, nothing here. So we're going to leave this room. Now, over in the shed where the other clicker was at, you can go look at it, but there's nothing there but a couple of bottles. If you need a bottle, though, it's a good place to get one. There is nothing useful at the top of these stairs, but there's another one of these outdoor wooden stairways stairways that you'll be able to go up soon and you will find some things there. Now, this is where the important thing is. If you go through this door, you're going to need a shiv. But there are plenty of supplies in here. So if you're running low on anything, now is a good time to not be running low on those things. Lots of pills. Oops. And some whatchamacallits, if I can get them to pick up. There we go. And I think that's everything in here. There's ammo there if you need it, but we're full up on ammo. So now let's go um, back to this menu and open up our supplement um, view. And here you can see that there are a number of items that you can choose from. And one of them is Weapon Sway. So I'm going to go ahead and select Weapon Sway for right now. And then I'm going to hold on to my supplements for quite a while. Oh, shit. It's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to open it? Good point. All right. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now, just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ta-da! Good job. Thank you. Yeah, good job, Ellie. That's nice of you, Joel. First time you haven't been a jerk in a while. So let's say we get a car from this buddy of yours. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. All right, man. Okay, some more supplements now. Come on through here. This is one of my favorite areas in the first game because it just shows like this little town and how devastated it was. Just awful. What was once probably a pretty happy place, but not anymore. Okay, so the first thing I do here is go up the stairs to the top of these wooden steps because there's a few items up here. So come on down the stairs. 
excuse me. And then go up the stairs to go inside of this building. You can't go inside every building, fam. You know, just some of them. And this is one of them you can go inside of. Did you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. There is rag there and some alcohol up there if you need it. Now when you finish that, you can come out here and go out the back door. And down on this picnic table are some more gadgets and whatchamacallit, so take those. Okay, heading on to the next room. Here we go. So you can come back up this alley. There's nothing useful over here, so just keep going. And cross the street. As you can see, there is a safe over there, but you need the combination to open it, and I'm going to show you where to find that combination in just one second. Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? Where do you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. So everything is boarded up for quite a ways. So no way out to the side. But we're going to go straight ahead before we go into that side building. Because the location of the safe combo is right over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this town? As far as I know, it's just him. Okay, I brought you over here to get this for you. It's a letter that says, Bob. I'm not leaving town without that safe. Help Brad load it into the pickup. And in case you need to get in, the combination is 5, 17, 21. Okay, so let's zip on back to that safe real quick. Five, seventeen, twenty-one. All set. We got everything we can get out of this area. Now we're going to go to that little record store that we passed up before because that is going to allow us to get around that barrier ahead. Whoa, look at this place. My supplies are full, but I'm just showing you where everything is, just in case you need it. Okay, another note. Let's see what it says. Goddamn infected showing up much too close to the church safe house. Looks like I'm going to need to do another round of clearing out the weak spots of the perimeter. Wow, that's... How do you even see those? 
<laughs> All right, Bill. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Okay. So now we go around the side and come down here. Jesus! Whoa, Nelly! What, what the hell was that? That would be one of Bill's traps. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. this guy well he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities he knows how to find things well let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him just watch your step you'll be fine sorry guys i realized i messed up and i had to go back and get those supplies after i crafted that shiv so now we can go back down here <laughs> Now, if you come up to this door, you can open that and get into another little storage area. And back here, you can find some more blades, cool. some more whatchamacallits. And if you craft that shiv, you can pick up the tape. And we have some pills. All right, moving on. There's another wire there, so we want to be careful if you go back that way, but there's nothing to be gained by going back that way. Jeez, feel good with a bow? I reckon he is. Pick up those arrows, because you're going to get something fun in just a second. Come here. I can use this to get over shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. It's actually a really good idea, Joel, but I get it. I get it. Okay, now you could use that plank to cross or you can just climb up here. And you'll see why that plank is there in just a second. It's all clear. Come on up. All right. Oop. No way across. gonna put this here and then you're gonna get up there and pick it up again and put it across that gap in the second game they make these devices a little bit more realistic you know so that um Kind of makes more sense that there would be a plank there, and it kind of makes more sense that you'd need one. And they also don't overuse it. Oops. Looky here. Shit. So, aiming a bow. When you want to arm your bow, you press L2. It brings your bow up. And then to aim, you hold down an R2. Now you're gonna feel the tension and it's gonna kind of move around. You use your right joystick to reposition the bow. 
You want to score a headshot if possible because then you have a greater chance of recovering your arrow. Now listen. Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. We gotta be clear on this. He, he don't take too kindly to strangers. All right. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you. So. Okay, guys, now if you walk into that wire, you will explode, I assure you. So See that wire? And Stay go under it. Okay, just keep your head low and you'll be fine. All right. Okay. Now, there is nothing in there. You hear that? Yeah. Nothing in that shed, but what we need is to get rid of this right here, because look. Oh my gosh. Now don't stand too close. Kind of get back and throw your brick. Oh, shit. Those things are kind of awesome. And I, do I recommend you come over here and get another one. There are some baddies in that building, so don't open that door. Whatever you do, don't open that door. Now, come around, and we got this guy over there. And we've yeah. got another wire. Watch step. You see, it's going to auto-lock for you. <laughs> if for some reason you don't have bricks and things when you encounter something like that, you can always use some ammo oh. to shoot those instead. Right. Just stay close. Come over here real quick. Hmm, you don't need that ammo right now, so let's go on through this door. Oh, come on. I got you. Damn it, Bill. What just happened? Another one of Bill's stupid traps. Uh oh. There, that fridge. It looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Cut that rope, and it'll bring me down. On it. Shit, here they come. Just tend to the rope. Okay, so if this is your first time playing this, you feel very disoriented and it's hard to aim. If they get up too close, smash your square, push them back, and then try to get that headshot if you can. Hookers are a priority because you can't shank them when they're upside down. Good time, Ellie. Hold on. You all right? This yeah. is such a welcome on, combat scene. Absolutely love this scene. Damn it! Come on! I'm not cutting! Just hurry! Ellie, we're getting close! You've got to defend Ellie while she's trying to save you, so here. just keep shooting. Uh, 
Damn it, Ellie, they're getting close! to be. Grab right. this health if you can. Oh, I missed it. There, I got it. Okay. Now, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give up. Oh, shit. Go through God here. Damn it, they're coming zoop, over. Zoop. Grab it. Zoop, zoop. Okay. Thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you, Joel? Bill. What are you doing? Bill. Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around all right. and get on your knees. Don't test me. Just take it easy. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean. Well, if I see so much as a truck. No! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house. You set off all my traps. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business. And we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. It's some kind of joke. I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel, go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. You listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuff me! I you. need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter, because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right. If I'm going to do this, there's some gear I'm going to need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now, you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Whole goddamn town's booby trapped. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off. All right. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All righty. Well, anything Bill lacks in sanity or 
interpersonal <laughs> relationship skills, he makes up for it with generosity. Because look at all this stuff. We're going to get it all. So let's look down here. And uh, first thing we're going to do is heal Joel a little bit since he's a little under the weather right now, just slightly. We're going to fill up that health bar because we have a ton of stuff to craft another health kit in here. So we don't want to have a full backpack when we've got access to all this stuff. So let's grab that real quick. We don't need any of this ammo right now. You can't get into this door, so no worries. You're not missing anything. Now swing back around here and you'll see a new pipe. Go ahead and take it. And then go to your health kit and upgrade the new pipe. All right, it's all upgraded. All right, we have another blade and some more tape. And now we have a note. Poor Bill, let's see what this note says. Need to remember to clear the infected by the fences. Third time this month that too many of them were stacking up against the fence, knocking that shit over. Clear the fences. Oh boy. Looks like he's as hard on himself as he is on everybody else. Let's go over here and grab these things. And I think that's everything in this room. Now come back to this table and you'll find a map. So I have always picked up these maps, but never really gotten a lot of use out of them. But you have it now. So uh, it's a map of Bill's Town. Had handwritten notes across the map indicate locations of infected nests, safe zones, traps, and Bill's cash, and a convoy. All right. The convoy is up by the high school, and that's where we're ultimately trying to get, right? So that's where we want to go. Now, on this side, you'll find more blades. And I think there might have been some more tape back here that we missed before. Let me double check. No, nope, no tape. I am imagining things. So now we're going to come back up this way. And the last thing we want to get in this room is a new manual. So let's see what it says. Chapter four, improved durability of blade sharpening. And it looks like this is a well-used manual and some blades were definitely sharpened. So what does this do for us? It upgrades the durability of our shivs. So I'm going to do this real quick and then I'm going to open this up and if you look down in the lower right hand corner you can see the shiv symbol next to your health and it, there are two dashes under it what this means is that now we can use one shiv two times so to open a door and kill an enemy to kill two enemies to open two doors whatever however you want to use your shivs you can use each one twice so that's good news Found everything you need? We're good. All right, Ellie, come on. Don't leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done, but just left him back there. You weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind. I'm gonna take a look around up here. Nothing in there that I need. Go ahead, take whatever you want. Thanks. Another bill note. And it says... I saw a group of hunters coming dangerously close to town. Luckily, a pack of infected chased them off. Reminder, put up more warning signs. Let them know you're serious. Okay, Bill. The warning sign will let them know. Okay, we've got another blade there. We'll take that. 
And that's everything in here. Can't get in that door. There is nothing in that room there, so go on ahead. Don't think there's anything in this bathroom, but I don't remember for sure, so let me just look. Yep, nothing there. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Tess? It's just a job. S simple drop-off. What are you delivering? <laughs> that little brat? Haha, <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. Are you kidding me with this guy? So where are we going, Bill? I had the safe house. It's more of an armory. Wait, I thought we were gonna fix up a car. <laughs> we? You know how to fix it? Bill, a just... That's like I said. What I need is on the other side of town. Now, that side I don't ever go to because it's filled with infected. So we're going to need more guns. We are going to need more guns for sure. Shh, shh, shh. Side. Oh, I didn't mean to take care of that. Relax, it's nothing. So you didn't answer my question about Tess. You know, I thought the two of you were inseparable. <laughs> She's busy. <laughs> sure. Busy. Sounds to me like there might be trouble in paradise. Oh, gross. Yeah, something like that. Why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Are you done? Can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine blocks look like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. Oh, Damn it. Okay, so... As you can see, there is a little horde here. Uh, I'm fire fast enough, so... Now... Rifles are better for shooting the quicker, so keep moving. Don't let them catch up to you. Give yourself some distance so that you can aim. Simple shit, and now you're paying for it. You know what that means? Taking all the supplies from the warehouse. Okay. Well, now he's talking to himself. Bill. Joel. This way. Up we go. Picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those things are, at least they're predictable. The normal people that scare me. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Nothing. You sure that gate's gonna hold them? Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. So which way? We're here, it's in the cellar. All right, down here. Well, here we are. You don't touch anything. And you close the door? That's 
gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. It's fine. Just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Hey, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? It's actually her idea. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. What? Fuck her. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. I can't just take her back. Then send her packing, let her find her own way. Look, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. He's a partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? I wisened the fuck up. And I realized it's gotta be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. Hey! What'd I say to you when we walked down the steps? What'd I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. You keep babysitting long enough and eventually it's gonna blow up in Bill, your face. Can we please just get on with it? Here. Let's get on with it. All right, before we go any further, I got something I gotta show you. What you got? New toy from the toy box. <laughs> this is a nail bomb. Now you gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing there by. Yeah, I've seen your handiwork. Pretty good, huh? Congratulations, you are the proud owner of a pump shotgun and a nail bomb. And just like Bill said, if you are in the vicinity of the explosion when this nail bomb explodes, you, too, will receive damage. It is an area of effect attack, and they explode automatically when an enemy is nearby. So if there's no enemy, it's just going to sit there sort of dormant, but if an enemy approaches it, it will explode. Now, if for some reason, you can approach it if there's no enemy present and it won't explode. So if you put one down and nobody triggers it, you can pick it up and reuse it. So we got shotguns and bombs. What the hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks, this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun by this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with the battery in it. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo. I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. But fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah, those trucks are like tanks. It's just sitting there. Actually, my work. Okay, so Bill is one of the best supplied people in the apocalypse. So take a look around and see if there's anything you need. You can see there's a blade there. We have some tape. Woohoo! Some shotgun ammo. And our backpack is full for blades. Right now, we're full for alcohol and rags. But take a little gander down here. Oh my goodness, we have explosives. And as you can see, your little wrench has just popped up. So guess what you get to make? What do we want? Nail bombs. When do we want them? Now. So we're going to craft an additional nail bomb. As you can see, it takes explosives and blades. Now that we've used some blades, we can go back because there's room in our backpack for these blades. We did not have room before. And once we have those, we want to take a little walk over here. 
Something wonderful is going to happen here in Bill's basement right. today, guys. Something really good. So remember how earlier on we wanted to make this shotgun holster, but we couldn't because we didn't have tools level one? Well, guess what? Bill, of course, being the best stocked man in the apocalypse, has toolbox one. And we're going to go back here and you'll see this red box with a little tool over it. Go ahead and interact. And voila, some kind of a tool. And tools allow Joel to access more weapon upgrades at the workbenches. I'm not sure what this tool does, but apparently it's very useful. So we are going to take it, take all the stuff on the shelf. Because Bill doesn't mind. He's grumpy but generous. And we're going to go right back over to that workbench and make some holsters. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Okay. So we'll start with the short gun holster and we're going to click on upgrades open up the upgrade, and then we're going to craft it for 75 whatchamacallits. This is going to create an additional spot on our weapon wheel so that we don't have to press and hold square every time we want to draw a different weapon. Okay, now come over here and we can do the exact same thing for the long gun. And it's also going to cost 75 whatchamacallits. Finally, last but definitely not least, I'm going to add a scope to my hunting rifle so that I can snipe from far away and see my shots accurately. So here we go across to the scope and we're going to craft it. To use the scope, you're going to aim with L2 and hold X to zoom in and then fire with R1, just like you normally, I'm sorry, R2, just like you normally do. And that's all I'm gonna do for now. Even though there are some upgrades that would be really useful, I'm gonna hang on to my stuff because there's a different weapon I'm gonna get later that I'm going to want to upgrade. Well, there we go. Okay, now a quick word from our sponsors. No, I just want to say something about the um, pump shotgun. So now you see how our weapon wheel has changed and we can have two weapons and all you have to do to go between them is use your left directional toggles to move across the um, options. And then within each of those, you can still swap weapons to put them in first or second place. And that is especially useful over here because, looky, we have three long weapons right now that we have the option of keeping in first position. I'm putting my bow and arrow in first position for right now. And then I'm going to move my shotgun to second position. So the reason I'm doing that is because a shotgun is a heavy weapon. And heavy ammo is harder to find in the environment. It's more rare than regular rifle ammo and definitely more rare than revolver ammo or semi-automatic ammo. So you won't want to use your shotgun until you really need some heavy ammo, some real heavy firepower. And those times are usually if you're being surrounded by a giant horde and you just need to take them out with one shot or... If you're taking out a big bad guy, a boss. So if that happens to you, you will not want to have used up all your shotgun ammo. You'll want to have it available to you. So just as a rule of thumb for me, whenever I'm playing a game, if I have a heavy weapon, I hold on to my heavy 
weapon ammo and only use it like kind of in a break glass in case of emergency situation. All right, so let's continue and let's go meet up with Mr. Bill and see what he's got in store for us. Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything. Hey, man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. All right. So if you do not have a melee weapon for some reason, you can pick a nice sort of interim melee weapon up back here. Here's a board you can use just in case. So if you don't have a melee weapon, definitely pick that up. Nice place you got here. Well, if you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. That's not the confessional booth. That's my room. All right, I'm not touching anything. Just... But you are, Joel. You are touching things, and you're taking them. Joel, shame. Shame on you. Oh, look, a note. Let's read it. Group of runners triggered most of the bombs on the south side of town. It's time to do another pass. Don't forget to mark the map with all bomb locations. Man, I bet Bill hasn't relaxed in 20 years. If you need a shift, there you go. All right. Time to sack up. Ellie, come on. Look, there's a school. All right. Ready? As we'll find out. Come on, you don't need to be looking at that. <laughs> I've seen worse. All right, then. Let's get a move on. <sighs> Past this gate, it's all new territory to me. I'm on it. Hey, hey, you guys hear that? Keep quiet. So we are going to be faced with one nest of clickers and runners after the next in the next few minutes. So uh, try not to alert any of them, you know, keep quiet if you can. So we have two right here. Then down there, there are about three or four. And then there's another two over near the exit to the cemetery. Now, remember that our shivs are upgraded, so, um, you know, we can take out two with one shiv, and we have one kill left on the shiv that we have in our first slot right now. Shiv. Okay, so now we see we have a second shiv that has two kills left on it. We have one clicker, so let's really quick upgrade that next shiv and wait for this one, because he's going to circle back around this direction. He's scary. That one's scary. Okay. 
Now we're going to sneak up behind this one as quiet as we can. All right, now we have one kill left on the third shift, so we're sitting pretty. We're doing real good. Now when you come down here, this is a good chance to demonstrate the nail bomb. Do you see three opponents, three enemies over here? We are going to try to attract them to one place with this bottle. So we're going to... All right, we're going to give it a throw right over there. Now, once they've all kind of gone to check out that bottle, we're going to give them a little surprise. We're going to throw the nail bomb right in the middle. And it looks like we got them all. Woohoo! I hate it when one of them survives there. Makes it so complicated. I think one of these guys is going to drop some ammo. Mm, maybe not. Well, come back here and you have access to this. Pick up the other bottle that you just threw and replace it. I just could swear one of these guys dropped some shotgun ammo, though. Let me see. Is it this guy over here? Hmm, I guess not. All right, we've got two more to take out here. Sometimes you can sneak past one of them, but you usually can't sneak past two of them. Okay, let's see if we can just get past this other guy. We have a um, supplement over here. Okay, I think we can do it. Let's see if Bill will do it. Hold up. I got a key for that gate. I suggest we move quietly. All right. Easy, easy. So, let's see. So now we have um, a number of hostiles here. So we have one, two, three runners. We have a clicker wandering around the yard in the front of the yard and another runner wandering around in the back of the yard and a runner inside of the house. So let's take out this one first quietly. Looks like my arrow broke, unfortunately. Then we're going to take this one out next. Also quietly. <laughs> Next, we're going to circle around and take out this little one sitting over here. You weren't kidding about this place, were you? Okay. There is any number of ways you can strategize your way through this. I tend to leave the clicker alone if I can and come around the back way to take out the two runners that are one in the front of the house and the one on the inside of the house. And it may be that you end up taking out the clicker, but you don't always have to, so... Stay out of the scream zone and let him turn around. Oh, 
Okay. Now, when he's down, you have the freedom to move up here. And you'll want to take out the last runner inside of the house. See that guy there? He is going to kind of come back this way in just a second. We're going to try to sneak up and be quiet if we can. Take him out without being seen. And then once he's down, we have the liberty to move about freely inside the house. Nothing here, but there is a firefly tag back here if that's what you're doing. I am not. All righty. Hey, Joel needs some help this time. As you can see, we can't get up the stairs. Let's go check out the garage. Usually some good stuff in the garage. Oh yeah. Here we go. And our melee weapon looks great, so we don't have to replace it. Now, there's a couple of ways to get around the clicker downstairs. One is to go up here, right? But if we go up here, we're gonna face another um, runner over in that yard. So usually what I do is kind of go through this way and get into the garage that's downstairs. Okay. So stay behind this lattice until it moves. That's what I do anyway. Ooh, I am low on arrows. I need some more. Okay. He's going that way. And I'm going this way. We're doing good so far. Now there's a runner over there and they will see you through the door frame. So try not to stand in front of the door frame. We are going to wait until they circle back and around and grab some of those supplies over there. There they go. Let's grab it quick. All right. And then right over here. Just fabulous. As you can see, there's no way through here, so they're going to force you through this yard. Oh my god. And I think there are some supplies up by that lattice work, but there's also some opponents, so it doesn't really pay for me to go up there. Unless you're already in a melee, I mean, then who cares? But if you're being good at sneaking so far, just, you know, enjoy that. Enjoy that. You're in a good spot. Now, when you get in here, come right over and hug this wall real quick. Boing, boing, boing. And grab your arrows. Yeah. Here we go. Once you've got that, come on back to this little garage right here. Because there's no other way out. Even if you go kill those guys up top, this door here is going to be your only escape. What about this? This way. It's tied on the other side. What about going through here? What, the doggy door? <clears throat> Be very careful. 
course. Maybe you should have given her a gun. Okay, Bill. There are those clicker things inside the house. Oh, shit. I ain't seen this yet. You stay oh, down. Oh, boy, are we in a pickle. So we see two out here, but there are, I believe, two more inside. The best thing I can think of to get rid of these guys is Molotov cocktail. Um, so at first I tried to attract them to a zone. Hoping they'll come out of their own volition. Here we go. There we go. Now, when they're close enough together, hopefully, oh, brat, he went inside again. Here we go. This is my chance. Maybe. Well, I got one. All right, one more inside. That's not too bad. I should be able to take them out with an arrow. But to be honest, I can probably just take him out with my pistol. I haven't used this one yet. How far is it, Bill? We're getting close now. We're gonna have to be quick about it. Go in, grab the battery, get the fuck out. I don't want to get trapped over there. All right, I get it. Nothing in here. Let's see. Here we go. We get some tape. How's, uh, yep. Okay. I'm going to craft one Molotov, but I think there's a free one nearby. So I'm going to watch for that. Nothing in here, but you do get some explosives right here. And that should give us enough to craft another nail bomb. So we're going to do that real quick. Should be clear. All right, Bill, where are you taking us, bro? Where are we going? Who the hell left us here? You got friends in town? No. Although I got some idea who might have come through here. School's on the other side of this house. Let's get inside. Come on, Ellie. All right. Leave no shed unexplored. Here we go. More goodies for us. More goodies. Did I get that? Okay. All right. Let's move on ahead. Back into the house. Here's our free Molotov. More blades. What else? There we go. An alcohol. I think we're good. For now. God damn those things. Nobody's bitten, right? Nope. I'm good. We're all fine. Let's just keep going. Oh, yeah. You're getting some good stuff up here.
some pills. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so there's a journal here. And it is really long. This is a really long entry, guys. So I am going to let you read this for yourselves because it's super, super long. It's also a really sad story. So. Hey, you got a second? Yeah. I I just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring it up again. Ellie, you don't need to worry about me. I should go check on Bill. Okay. That is where we've got to go over there. Hey, Joel! Yeah. Okay, pull up again. You may hand with this. I tell you, there's that truck sticking out of the school right there. Come on. There's a bunch of them up there. So try not to make a sound. And you should take that advice seriously because they will all be on top of you so fast. And there are so many of them. So I try to get behind this concrete, this brick little wall here as quick as I can. A good place to work from. <laughs> so we picked that one off and we're going to try to pick that one off in just a second. There's another one up here that I want to try to pick off. Hopefully they won't see me. Okay. Okay, another one. Okay. Now there's another one over there I could pick off, but let me see if I can collect my arrow that I lost over here. Would like to have it back if I can get it. Noopity noopity. Okay. Well, I think that's good. I could pick off that other one, but it's not really going to matter. So I'm going to switch out my weapon, put my rifle in first position. And come around here. Maybe, maybe I can get my arrow off of this one. All right, let's see if we can sneak through here, fam. Let's see. Ah, oh, it was beautiful. What? What? Ellie, run! Okay, run, run, run! run. Oh, they're coming from everywhere! Put some distance run. between you. Oh, my goodness, I have the wrong weapon holster. There we go. Good thing I've got a melee! 
Shayna. Ooh, wee. Well, that was easier than I thought it'd be. They must be holed up somewhere else. Well, let's not test our luck. How do we get inside? So how do you get inside? Well, Ellie's gonna lead the way. Someone left a ladder on the bus. Here, get me up there and I'll drop it to you. There's the ladder. Okay. Let Ellie up back here. Don't get killed up there. Thanks, Bill. We're okay. We just need to get to the hood of the truck. <clears throat> Shit, you hear that? They're coming. Move it, kid. All right. We're gonna get in quick. We're gonna get the battery. We're gonna get the hell out of here. They're piling on the steps over here. God damn it, they're locked. Drop it a hold. We have to get inside to get the battery. Come on, Phil. Windows open. Hurry. <laughs> We'll make it fast. Grab this. Please tell me you're done. Tim? What? Fucking empty. Guys! Bill, where to? Uh, Bill, where? Anywhere but here. You made the whole ass. Come on. They're fucking through. We are in a pickle, friends. In a pickle. Let's, um, we'll sneak out the back. You two, follow me. I'll get us out of here. Be my guest. One, two, three, there. You really just don't want that one up top to see you? Shave this one if we want to. We can shave it if we want to. So now you see another runner walking around there. As long as you stay under this, that runner up top won't see you, so they won't alert anybody. So we're gonna wait for this one to zip back over this direction. And we'll take them out. All right. Oh, dear. 
We've got another one. <laughs> okay. Down the hall. I bet we could cut through those classrooms. No arrows to save there. There's a way through. We gotta get past those guys. Ring around the rosy with a clicker here. Give this one. <laughs> Come over to your right and you have a new melee weapon and you'll want to take that because your other one's pretty damaged. Just gonna wait for this one. Okay, now that that one is done, you want to go ahead and come around this way. There's a path down this hallway. All right. So, how do we go about getting through here, guys? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can be stealthy, or you can just go hog wild. So let's do that. We're going to go hog wild. And boop. And one more. Now the one that was upstairs has heard all the commotion and they're going to come down here. All right, Bill, good job. Bill, I need your help with this door. We got to clear these guys first. <sighs> help me open this. All right, ready? Okay, press square, y'all. And again. Come on. Come on. Shit. There's more on the way. Barricade the doors. This ain't gonna hold up for long. Oh, that don't sound good. Ellie, take cover. Okay, so my first word of his advice is stay far away from him. Put your shotgun in first my position. Back. Ellie, just stay away from me. He does not like Molotov shot kills. in half. Don't let, him, don't let him rip your face in half. Okay. So those big balls of powder are acid spores, y'all, and they will burn you, so try not to get burned by... Up with that big guy. He just 
been infected for a long time. We call them bloaters. Bloater. Okay, got it. I hate to interrupt your little biology lesson, but can we get the fuck out of here, please? Now you know. Get on top of these bleachers. Give me a boost, Joel. Before you do that, real quick, just grab your stuff. Back here. Ready? Let's go, people. All right. Here we go. All right, come on. Joel, behind you! Son of a bitch! Oh, shit! I got it, I got it! Save heavy weapon ammo, fam. That's why. This way. We're sitting ducks here. There's another ladder over here. Keep going. I'm right behind you. No. Inside the house now. So that worked out well. Okay, uh, I'll go check out this side of the house. Bill? Somebody had the same idea they stole my shit. Well then, what the hell is plan B? You ought to be thankful you're still drawing breath. That was plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. And furthermore, tell Tess that she could take Don't this you job. Don't you bring Tess she into this. Shove it right up nothing to do with it. Jesus. What, do you know this guy or something? Frank. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. He's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. He's got bites here, and he... I reckon he didn't want to turn, so he... Yeah, I guess not. Well, fuck him. Look what I found. It's got some juice in it. That's my battery. That fucking <laughs> asshole. Get out. Get out. Okay. Jeez. Battery's drained, but cells are alive. Meaning? Meaning, we push it, get it started, and the alternator will recharge the battery. Is that your guess? Look, you wanted a plan B as good as it gets. What are you thinking? I'm thinking you drive and we push. Jesus. That's more of my stuff. So what, you just, just gonna steal my shit and run off? Is that it, Frank? You should probably search the house. I'm sure there's more supplies. It's a good idea. Let me know when you're ready to finish this thing. I'll give you a holler. 
All right. So just a little flashback. I don't know if you remember when Ellie and Joel were in the tunnels after the Capitol building and they found that note about a smuggler named Frank. That's the guy, Frank. But he's dead now, so I guess we know why he never showed up and that other guy got killed by stalkers. Poor old, poorly dressed Frank. Oh, goody. Some health for Joel. He's going to need it. Some tape. All right. Let's read this letter on the table. It says, Well, Bill, I doubt you'd ever find this note because you were too scared to ever make it to this part of town. But if for some reason you did, I want you to know I hated your guts. I grew tired of this shitty town and of your set in your ways attitude. I wanted more from life than this, and you could never get that. And that stupid battery you kept moaning about, I got it. But I guess you were right. Trying to leave this town will kill me. Still better than spending another day with you. Good luck, Frank. Ouch. So let's go in here. Yep, nothing we need here. Oh, you know what? I better craft me some of these so I have room in my backpack to get the rest of the stuff. Let me go ahead and grab that alcohol and go back in here. And I think there were a couple of other things I left behind that I can use. Are they over here? Nope, just my imagination. Was it in the kitchen? Maybe. I feel like I had some alcohol I passed up earlier. Oh, okay, I guess not. Ready? Bill, I uh, found this in there and I, uh, I figured you should have it. Well, that's how you feel. Well, fuck you too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. You ready to go? Okay, last. But not least, let's pick up the crumpled up note and keep it. We'll just hold on to that artifact. Okay. Um, make sure your shotgun is loaded. Okay. Let's see. Yep. That's what we're going to have to work with. So let's go. All right. Let's do it. Put her in first. Already did it. Just keep your foot on the clutch. And when we get to... I know how to pop a clutch. How the hell did... You know what? I don't care. Just don't fuck it up. All right, Ellie, get ready. <laughs> now, now, hit it. Hit it. Good job, kid. Over there! Look out! Oh, shit. Now, there's some stuff over to the left up by that house, but Just you don't need to get it right now. Just get it over the edge. Guys, around that house. You're right. 
Time. Back to pushing. Okay, grab this ammo right here. Okay, back to pushing. I really want to get that stuff up there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm sure it's something wonderful. This doesn't make it how the story feels here. Let's get her to the hill. Grab the rest of the ammo. And oh god, I can't resist it. I just have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't resist the stuff. Oh no, I don't want to. I can't resist it. Okay. Now we can go. Here we go. Going, pushing. Here we are. All right, Ellie, get ready. All right, Ellie, start it up. <laughs> hear that sound, Bill? Yeah. Well, that means you back to hear it too. <laughs> go, go, boy! This'll do! Stop! Just keep her running, all right? That girl nearly got us killed. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Oh, oh. Uh... Here. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. Appreciate it. Look, Bill, uh, about your buddy back there, uh, that's a tough deal. And I'm, uh... We square? We're square. And get the fuck out of my town. Okay, kids, that's it for today's episode of Your Mom Games Walkthrough for The Last of Us Part 1. I hope you're enjoying the walkthrough, and if you are, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you clicked like and subscribe below. Do you want to be notified when my next video releases? All you have to do is ring the bell. As always, I'd love to see your questions, comments, and suggestions, so drop those below too. Remember, kids, visit your mom every week here at Your Mom Games. See you next time.